this winter live in the Terra Virtua Artist Discord from Brazil with her purple art and red eyes. I introduce to you, Check. Oh! <laughs> Yay! There we go. Now we got the cheese pool. We're swimming in cheese now. <laughs> yeah. What an incredible I, introduction! Wow. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, 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 yeah, I need to, I, I need to work on that. I'm, I'm not. I know, think 50, for, for, 50, 100 of these episodes, we'll get it, we'll get it down. Well, we will oh, get I it. Love it. <laughs> it's very good. So, so Miss Check, are, are you watching my screen? Because you, if I'm gonna be your driver, um, I'm probably gonna okay, mess up now like I'm, I'm navigating. Watching. So you just tell me where you want to go. Um, and I'll try not to mess up, and I'll try to anticipate things before you think about them. Normally, that's how I mess up, actually. But we'll just we'll just go with the flow. <laughs> uh, cool. All right. So let's let's start with, with an intro. A nice, with a nice nice intro, nice easy question, and I'm going to let Chet handle all of it. So we absolutely want to know. You know, tell us about yourself. you know where you're from, yep. how you got into art, everything about yourself, and you can always always throw in what your favorite food in as we spoke about in, in pre-discussion here so uh tell us tell tell us tell the community a little bit about yourself as much as you're willing to share with us and uh okay. we'll be all ears oh my okay my favorite food is lasagna so yeah it's very good i recommend to everyone to eat it <laughs> and yeah i'm from Brazil and um yeah i'm an artist and i like to draw and paint and and do art, <laughs> and yeah. How old were you when you started? Oh, I I don't know. I was like 13, 15, I guess. Yeah. But I didn't I didn't did like art this way. I was like drawing anime and characters that I like. But after some time, I started to like take art more seriously and started to paint more and study more and things like that. <laughs> yeah. What What's your favorite medium? Um, I I think that it's digital media. <laughs> like there is no one, no like specific media, I guess. But on the traditional things, I guess I like watercolor. Mm -hmm. But I'm I'm really digging um, acrylics too. Now, I don't know. I'm very with my mediums. <laughs> yeah, I guess I was asking just because I'm, I mean, if you can see my screen right now, um, I'm just looking at the strokes and I was curious because I, I don't know how this is done uh, digitally. So to me, like you, you did this uh, on a physical, like to me, like I'm actually like, it's getting harder and harder to differentiate. Like if someone started on <laughs> like with physical, or if they just had yeah. started it. like so can you tell us like the process for your artworks like where do you start and how do you come to something sort of like this yeah. where it's animated yeah yeah like sometimes i just start with the sketch on a sketchbook and i like sometimes i just take a photo of it and put on photoshop or clip studio paint and i paint them mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, sometimes I just, I do some watercolors and after that I scan it and put in Photoshop too and paint um, on them. Yeah, and sometimes I just start on digital and stay there. I do everything on my computer and sometimes I animate it, sometimes I don't. It depends on the piece, really. Sometimes I, I think that the animation will provide something different, something more to the piece, and I animate it. But sometimes I like to keep what can see. And yeah. Okay, that's perfect. Let, so let's continue on with the burning question. Well, one of the burning Ooh. questions. That we need to know, right? Oh my I'm god. Not, we, I'm not an artist, but we need to know what tools are you using to create and design these artworks? Normally, I use Photoshop or Clip Studio Paint. Um, I'm mostly using Clip Studio Paint lately because it's really good and it's really good, really. It's really good for painting. Like, to brush and line for them is crazy good. It's really good. Yeah, and I use that and Photoshop sometimes. And to animate it, I use 
After Effects. And yeah. And traditionally I use like watercolors and I like I have I have a kurakake, but watercolor is really good, it's really pigmented. And I use some some cheap gouache that I had bought in the store, like it's incredible. <laughs> and yeah. So this, I mean, the, the artwork, all the artworks are just utterly beautiful. I mean, there's there's just so much character oh, and emotion. One question I see, you know, and, and I think we mentioned this, you know, when we had you on with Gabby when we were doing our exhibition, I see a lot of the artworks are uh, portrayals of different styles of women. Is there any reason behind that? Oh, I think this is this is her, <laughs> right? <laughs> Or no, wait. it's not me. No? I, I, okay, then no, I'm I terrible never, at guessing. I never did any, like, self-portrait in my life. Like, I I, I had this wow. project that I, that I wanted to do, like, a self-portrait, but it's, like, it's a hell for me to do it. So, oh, <laughs> I, I guess I, I keep going with it. Um, yeah, but to, to women, like, I don't know, I really like to paint women. I don't paint only women, but... I like to paint them and I like to, I don't know, I was thinking about it and I like to just show girlhood and womanhood in some ways. Mm -hmm. and That's cool. It's yeah. important to me this, to show it in the, some ways. There's some emotional depth here, and I don't know how much you want to dive in. And, and a oh, lot of a lot of times, so here's I love this here's piece. here's something we keep coming up with. Uh, so all artists have kind of their own approach to interpreting their art. Some uh, like to be a bit standoffish, and then other I've noticed it's either, you know, it's kind of like if you like mayonnaise, you either really like mayonnaise, you don't like it. Like this is like what. No one's good. I guess you may only understand this is for, if you're from the states. So I apologize to anyone that's not from the states. But you either love or hate mayonnaise. So this is one of those things where, uh, do you let people interpret your art, or do you like to interpret the art for them? Both, really. Yeah. I really like. For me, art is a language. Mm -hmm. um, I I study literature, so I I am a person that has really difficult difficulty communicating with other people so to me art is a way to to, to communicate it's a language to me i don't and, yeah and i think that that is the only way that i can truly communicate myself with the world so yeah and i like to interpret them because it's really confusing in my mind sometimes <laughs> and i like when people um, talk about them yeah. and 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 talk to me about yeah. what they feel about it. I really, I if, really like it. If you could pick one of your arts here to give a quick little story behind, because I wish we had all day to chat with you. But like, let's do the do, do the one that's do the one that's sold. Go up, do the do the purple one in the middle, all the way up at the top. This let's one? talk yes. about the one. Okay, yeah. okay. The so, so, one. so, so, so. Okay, hold on. So I have to I have to put this out there. So. For those that don't know, we, we listed this, and yep. uh, before Czech even got a chance to tweet about it, it was sold. Yes. Uh, it was wow. Sold. It was sold. It makes very sense, though. Are we, are we surprised? Like, come on. <laughs> it, 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 was sold, it was sold to a very large collector very quickly, and, um, and there's actually a lot of questions that I have about this one. So, uh, first off, I think we'll just get this question out of the way. And I know we spoke in DM about this, but for our community that is interested in getting their hands on a check piece, do you have more artworks coming to the Terra Virtual platform for sale? Yes. Woo. yes. Awesome. I have. <laughs> Great. Good news for people out there that didn't even get an opportunity to even look at this. <laughs> it's it, uh, it sold Somebody so quickly. sniped it. Yeah. Somebody somebody yes. came in who was a fan of Czech art and sniped it. Um, but and then we were like, Oh wow, and I think you even made a joke about it. You were like, I didn't even know it's sold. So <laughs> we have our what? community snipers, like they, they love to snipe yes, it. Oh yeah. my gosh. <laughs> I was like so. I was like almost sleeping and Gabby just shoot me on DMs like I bought something and I was like, What? <laughs> and I what? And I was like man like so like out of my mind <laughs> yeah tell us about that like tell us about your first like i want to know about your first experience selling digital art like how did that affect you it was like it was a lot it was like a really a really dear piece to me and 
it's sold for like I don't remember like 50 bucks I guess but I was so happy yeah oh my god I, I started crying like <laughs> <laughs> my boyfriend had like to hug me and like <laughs> calm me down because I was so freaking happy yeah I was yeah. like I can't believe someone like paid money yeah for, like, has anyone reached out like basically since you've started like have you noticed that you're you have like a closer relationship to people who are a fan of your arts or how is that? Yeah, definitely. Because in crypto art, it, it allows you to have this closeness with your collectors. And Gabi is one of them. And he's like a friend of mine now. <laughs> he's not just a collector. And it's incredible because you can talk to them and they can talk to you about what they like about your piece about your art and it's incredible mm -hmm. it's, 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 it's you incredible know i want to build on today. i want to build on that actually so so you've you've been selling art for you know a decent amount of time um you know in, at least in in the crypto space as you start selling these artworks to different collectors have you known that or have you been seeing that you've been developing friendships and relationships with the owners of the people that purchase your art yes definitely because it, 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 like if you're on Twitter and your your DMs are open, it's like you just have to talk to them and them to me, and it's just easy like that. And it it, it definitely is a, um, an evolving relationship with collectors, and mm. they always are there to help you in some ways. It's not just monetary value; it's like all the support that in, in things with you is incredible. Mm. Like, they have your back, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, totally. It's kind of like Agreed. that. You know, what type of, like, marketing or, or tweets, or what, what do you find the best way to communicate to buyers out there and the best way to communicate to put your art in front as of many faces as possible and so that people oh. can can see that it's for sale. Do you find that Twitter is the best outlet for that? What, what do you find to be most valuable? Um, definitely prefer Twitter because it's, yeah. it's, it's more easy to communicate and to talk. Um, I don't know, my main, I, 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 I think I was very lucky. I made very amazing friendships in the space and people provide so much knowledge to us in this way and it's incredible and it it definitely helped me to know what to do and how to do it. I think that Twitter is really good for crypto art. I don't like using Instagram. <laughs> I really don't, but I use it sometimes just to put my art there. But Twitter is definitely better for crypto art in my opinion because you can you can literally make friends there. You like to me like I'm I'm work in an ad agency, so I know how marketing works. But crypto art is more than that. Like you have to put yourself out there. You have to be truthful to you, to your artwork, mm -hmm. to your art, and you don't you like you have to be responsible for yourself to not let the money get to your head. Like if you sell mm. something like for big bucks, like I myself, I like sold very like sometimes I, I sold like for a lot of money and I was like crazy about that. And sometimes I didn't sell at all, like months or weeks. And you have to like put your mind on your art, yeah. not on the money, because if you put on the money, like the joy is gonna is gonna fade out and you you get burned out and that is, that is that is a great that is a great thing out there every and i think that applies to anybody in entrepreneurship keep your head down keep working you know i, yes. I think it was even yes. uh, you know I, I, one person I, I like to follow or, or have followed in the past what was gary vaynerchuk known as or gary v who is just kind of like the motivator for entrepreneurs and you know one thing that always stuck to me was you know if you get one person one person to like or comment or one person to engage with you that's that's where you start yes, and i think it's so, yes, and i think it's yes. so important to build on what you said 
by saying, you know, focus on your town, focus on building. Yes. Don't don't worry about the 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 money up front. Don't worry about yes. the followers count up front. If you put out good product, good content, make friends, like make right? friends. And you're and a nice person. Just be, and just be enjoy. nice to people. Yeah, like for me, my favorite part of crypto art is like to collect. Like people are so willing to like work together. And yet, you're seeing some collabs I did here. They are amazing. I love them. And like, it's an incredible opportunity. We have so many crazy good artists oh. on crypto art, and they are all willing to collaborate and give. We can give knowledge, you know. I, I've been wanting to ask this question for so long because all these artists are talking about collabs, but we never get like a behind the scenes like look at like how do you guys collab? Like, because we only see the final piece. Like, I don't. Do you just toss it back and forth? Like, all right, your turn. My turn. Your yeah, turn. My so, turn. Yeah. That's it. Do you, but, is it a sh is sometimes... it a shared artboard? Like, is it like I'm really curious, or is there different ways? Like, how do you discuss? Like, how do you go it's... about doing that? I, I think it's always different for each artist. Like with Jokra, that I did some with music. I like he gave me an idea and the music, and I did the art. Mm. Um, this one with the flowers was like João, that is the artist that I did this collab. He likes let's collab, and I like let's go and yeah. like. He gave me he gave me his art, and I like painted them. Uh, above and after that, I passed to them. Yeah. And to collab with with Kitty, she like drew the doll, and I like draw so the cool. tools. So cool. So cool. Yeah. <laughs> um, speaking speaking of collabs, we had a crazy thing happen in here where we had Arc 4G on the show with us, and uh, Odious oh. jumped in and have a chat, and they actually discussed having a collaboration. On, on Terra Virtua live on chat in, in the thing and I'm curious oh my God. are you are you open to collabing are you uh, do you have any type <clears throat> of collaborations in the works right now and yes. <laughs> okay yes let's let's all right let's talk collabs let's go let's talk oh my god I, I won't disclose who because like it's a straight and but I have some a lot. I have like a queue of collabs to do. <laughs> but yeah. Totally. So so let me ask you a question. Do you feel that the Czech name and Czech art is a brand in itself? Oh. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it's a Damn. it's a loaded question. We, we, I mean, listen, Damn, we, yeah. we're, we're, we're trying to make you. We're, we're trying there. to make you. <laughs> we're trying to make you nervous. We have to give you easy questions. We can't. Okay, you know, okay, we, okay. We, all right, let's let's all. All right, the hard Let, question has been asked. Let's settle in. The pressure is on. Let, what is Czech okay, gonna say? I, I I constantly every day make an effort to separate myself personally and my brand you know like there is me in my everyday life there is me artist and there is me promoting my art and i try to separate them because i really don't know well i'm trying joining them together so when i do art i am <coughs> me the artist it's me painting not thinking about anything else just what I like. I, I paint what I like. Mm. And if I don't like it, I don't paint it, you know? Because I don't wanna do like, I, I, I don't wanna do like designer mm. <laughs> commissions or things like that. This is like my soul, mm. you know, bare there. But when I'm on Twitter and I have to promote a piece, of course, I have to like, Think about it in another perspective. I have to know a good time to post it. To post it, I have to like write a good post, know what hashtags use, and things like that. And and that definitely is a learning curve. You have to marketing yourself. You have to like be this PR guy. And yeah, it's, it's how I do. It's how I manage because I really don't like to market myself, but I have to, 
you know, every artist has to do it. Um, especially in crypto art. So I, yeah, that, I think it's, it's like that for me. I do have a question because, um, you know, you, you, you said something there that, uh, you know, you kind of pull, like, this is kind of like a reflection of you. So when you start a piece, are you, do you go to an empty room and with like a blank slate or do you draw inspiration from something and then you try to find your, you know, your easel? Like how does, does, is it, is it like, how does your, oh. how does the creativity start? Do you have inspiration or is it just okay. drawing from yourself <laughs> and your own past experiences? No, I definitely had inspiration and I definitely use like images and, and things to inspire me, like references, things like that, because I really don't believe that like you can create things for of nothing, like it, it doesn't it doesn't work like that for me. Mm -hmm. So like for me, sometimes I like watch a movie or a TV show and just think like creeps on my mind for weeks and weeks mm -hmm. and my mind is like very turbulent it's like hellfire <laughs> everywhere and i'm always like i had like a lot of problems yeah <laughs> mentally and i have to deal with them and oh you're I a human being to... yeah yes i am <laughs> yeah. i am i'm not a bot <laughs> she, yes, she, is, she, is she has a, a soft real heart yeah wow <laughs> and sometimes like sometimes i can draw for weeks yeah sometimes i draw everything in like one day yeah it's... and for me inspiration works like i watch something i yeah. i listen to something and and there stays in my mind and i i my mind like starts to i don't know work on them and like the thing just yeah commence to work and I and I pop something out would you say would you say this is so doing the art itself in the process is that therapeutic for you yes definitely yeah definitely. like I I am I have a lot of problems with anxiety anxiety mm -hmm. I don't know how to pronounce this word <laughs> <laughs> yeah no you got it An yeah that's right anxiety mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and and I have very few things that help me with calming my mind down and painting is definitely yeah. one of them. It's one of the few moments that I can talk so, and breathe. On your first piece <laughs> that you released to the world, did you feel a sense of like vulnerability um, by like releasing it on the internet and just basically yes. waiting to hear like people's reactions, if they got it, if they, you know, like, was that a, like a scary thing for you? Yes, it was because like for me, I was always doing this for myself. Like it was the best time. Mm. So I was, I was just doing what I like and I wasn't showing anybody. Mm -hmm. But like talk to my mom mm. and my boyfriend, like, but never like share with people. Like I show some of my friends and, and things like that, but yes. Yeah. And I, when I, when I like posted on Instagram, it was like just like a little portfolio or yeah. like a little place to me to put it. Mm -hmm. But on crypto art, it was very different yeah. because I was actively going for something yeah. like I was putting it on sale. I was putting myself yeah. out mm -hmm. there. I was. Yeah. Right. You have a lot of focus on the eyes. I've seen some focus on the heart and then I've seen some focus on like the disembodied head. Um, I'm going to, I mean, I want to <laughs> yes. touch on the eyes first or if you have time, I... you, I really want to understand like the, the thought, like I, just because it's a, a theme almost and, and you saying that this is sort of an expression of you, like, can you give us a little story behind that? Because honestly, like there's so much feeling in this piece. <laughs> I haven't even clicked away from it because I feel like I'm getting sort of lost in it. And there's just like debt, like she's unraveling at the bottom. And I feel like that has something. There's a lot of squiggles coming off the hair. Uh, it just gives me the impression that there's a lot going on in her mind. Um, like there's there's red in her eyes. So like I can, I can tell that maybe she's seen some things and she's basically like kind of been hardened by like life and to some extent. So. That's so. That's my interpretation. Yeah. And then the contrast of the colors yeah. it means she's and been exposed in, to. Yeah. Your interpretation is quite correct. Yeah. Might I say because yeah, like 
it's really hard for me to talk about it, but like my mind is really <laughs> like terrifying sometimes, mm -hmm. and I can see that that horror sometimes in my art, and yeah, it's like a reflection, I guess, yeah. and of the, the feelings and things that are going on. Yeah. That's really cool. Like, I, I just want to say that I really appreciate you doing this and, and then the, you know, like being vulnerable and, and, and having people like you're basically unlocking everyone's ability to feel the same way and not be like shameful because this is that's how we, you know, like we, we, we grow together. Like you're not yes. alone. Basically, what you're doing is saying to the world like you're not alone. And that's the coolest thing that I could Aww. ever see. By, Thanks. Uh, I'm really glad to hear it. Yeah. Really. Yeah, because like when you struggle with like depression or anxiety or trauma or things like that, you really feel isolated and um, yeah. it's really hard to talk about it with anyone. Mm -hmm. And I feel that art is is giving this to me like this mouth to speak to to, to people and it's really it's really incredible. Yeah. To be yeah. able to do it. I appreciate you, it you, for sure. And you're doing a great job when, when you said you came on, you're, you know, you're a little nervous, so hopefully you're not nervous now, but... I can't hear uh, a lick of nervousness, honestly. <laughs> I, I definitely I definitely want to open um, open the floor for some community questions. So for everybody listening in, uh, especially for those people on Discord and, and voice chat, if you want to write your questions in, and why everyone's writing <laughs> some of their questions in for check before we let her go, I did want to read a question uh, from Daniel who says continuing the challenging question series he goes oh my god there, there's actually two parts <laughs> don't worry there's two parts to this question so oh. how, so how how do you price your artworks oh that is a challenging question specifically Man. Uh, hold, hold, and specifically setting different prices to works alike as a medium does it reflect different effort outputs different sizes things that are more or less personal etc so I think it really comes down to, you know, if I were to translate that question, I would say uh, you have uh, different prices, some lower prices, like you said before, some uh, artworks are, are higher priced. What is the reasoning and the way you use your pricing structure? Oh, yeah, that is definitely a hard question. <laughs> like, I feel like pricing works in crypto art is always such a nightmare. It's very, oh, it's... It's very hard, and I think that helps, like, knowing your prices and knowing how much you're sold, and, like, you have to, like, like make a spreadsheet, I guess, and I always like like to know my collector's opinions, like, like if I sold um, I, a single piece for, like, an amount of money, I won't like price it like like 50 bucks because that would be like if if one collector is bought a piece by like eight hundred dollars and sell it after like if I sell it like for fifty bucks after that like the price will, will crash right so you have to like consider your collector's base, you have to consider this because they are investing in you and you have to be responsible for that. Like when when Ethereum was like, it was really difficult because you have to keep in mind the Ethereum price, but you have to keep in mind like the USD price too. And it's always difficult and it's really hard and I don't, don't really have to listen to that. But I tend to price editions for less because there are editions and I and I like, sometimes I do unique pieces too, and I price them less because they are like mostly quick, more quicker to do, like they are more like, sometimes they are more like a sketch, more like a, a, a fleeting feeling. And there are pieces like, like this one on Terra Virtua, that is like, I price it, it more because it, it, it means more to me, the piece sometimes, but it's, such a trick question oh my god yeah no no and, and, I, and, I, and, and, and yeah no and, and it was a community question and 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 i think it's 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 a good question because i, I think there really is no answer right you know i think no, you have to adjust reason. to yeah. so many you have to adjust to your user base you have to adjust to market conditions yeah. uh you know you have to adjust for how much time you put into a piece right. there's so many there's so many yeah. different variables that need to go into that 
and I, would I, and say I, and like if you have if you are worried like try to ask people like your collectors or your friends that like understand crypto and nfts and things like that because they <laughs> always provide I agree. It's always one of the most difficult things. So moving on, we actually have some questions <clears throat> um, from somebody internally from the team. Holly wants to know, what is the favorite? What is your favorite piece you've created? Oh, my God. Really? Really? <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're, listen, what you told you, we're going to ask you some, these hard questions. <laughs> This is like choosing your favorite kid. Like, like oh my god. That's actually a really good I way to put know. it. You love all your children. Like, I, I think like my favorite is always my last one. <laughs> because yeah. yeah, good yeah, answer. Yeah, that good, is a great good. answer, honestly. Okay, but you know what? I love them Let all. Okay, that's a good all. answer, and, and we'll leave it like that. So, uh, this is another good question from Holly. What do you find most challenging when creating your art? Oh, oh my God. <laughs> um, I, the most difficult thing is like separating yourself from your everyday life and, and putting your mind like in this kind of uh, fantasy world to make art. Like you have, I have to like leave my baggage at the door and enter a realm <laughs> and mm. do it. Like, uh, yeah, this is the yep. most difficult part because doing art really takes a toll on me sometimes. And sometimes I do a piece and I like get sad and angry and I cry doing it or I I love doing it and. It really takes a toll, it's, it, and I think that is the most difficult part. Wow. Yeah. Cool. And then, um, so we have another question from Daniel. Let me get this organized here. Okay. So, do you think that bi dimensional static digital works or NFTs are disadvantaged in the eyes of the digital collectors compared to animated ones? So, basically, this is, this is a really interesting one. So, do you think, yeah, do you think, do you think artists that do static images are, um, are, uh, at a disadvantage compared to the ones that have all sorts of crazy animations in it? No, not a lot. Not a lot. Oh, really? Because, like, <laughs> like to me, it's two different things. You know, like, it's painting. It's like, it's, I don't know. I don't. I, I, I like them both. I like animated pieces and like still pieces. And I think that a true collector will see the difference between mm -hmm. between between them, really. Mm -hmm. Like it's not because it's animated that is better. Like it is not because it's still that is better. Like there are two different things to me. Yeah. I just like to like, like you can animate it, but I don't like just to animate it just because of the sake of animating. Like I like to tell something of yeah. because the animation. I don't know. You're staying <laughs> yeah. true. Uh, honestly, it just sounds like you're staying very true to your brand and basically like you're not really looking at what others are doing. You, you're just doing your thing and that's really cool. Why do you feel like people should invest in into art? Why why should people want to buy um, crypto art or digital art? And it, and it's a question that I, you know, I've been working on myself and I'm just curious, you know, yeah. some some, <clears throat> some random thoughts here as I work on compiling a list internally of, you know, what what could be the best answers to that? And, and it makes me think, you know, as we go through, uh, you know, people's likeness of either static art, uh, you know, brush drawings, animated uh, type pieces. It's a very interesting thing. So, so you know, if you were to give, you know, a reason on why people, um, you know, in general, just in the general art market would want to invest into an art piece, what would you say? Like when I bought something for another, from another artist it's like this feeling that you have that you're like giving them love besides money you're like giving them a push to like cre keep creating you're like mm -hmm. telling them like i like mm -hmm. this and i like what you do and i want you to keep going yeah it's like that like it's not monetary it's like you you're like 
putting your belief in someone else, you, you know, the narratives. And crypto is like, you, you should invest in NFTs because it empowers artists, yeah. it, it empowers people. Yeah. It, you are your own bank, you are, are your own art gallery, you are your own man, <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> You have control over it, so yeah. That's, that's, that's a very, it's a very good answer, very good answer. And, and shout out to even Natural Warp. We are collectors, always have been. Rocks, seeds, plants, hunting trophies back in the caveman ages. You know, a while ago it was stamps, record albums, comic books, and wow. now it's crypto and NFT. Okay. And indeed now it's wrapped in a whole community feel. That wow. is a Natural, wonderful. you want to write some blogs for us, man? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like that's a good, good content right there. <laughs> I love it. So. So cool. I think as we as we start wrapping this up, if anybody cool. has any last minute questions and, and we'll we'll let them type in. I know, yeah. you know, we're coming up on, on about an hour now. But Chuck, you know, we have to say, you know, one of the biggest things that, that we do here uh, for Terra Virtua is is going off on what you said is we love supporting artists. You know, I've, I've said this yes. even yes, yesterday. We love incredible thank you. Thank you. We love building a community. We love, you know, going back and there was a reason why we asked you some of the hard questions on, you know, how to get your name out there and even the pricing question. You know, here mm -hmm. at, at Terra Virtua, we try our best and, and this and this and we're going to do this as long as possible, you know, time permitted as, as more and more artists um, are, you know, the, the first batch of these artists. I don't know who you guys know, but we had such an influx of inbound requests for people to get listed on Terra Virtua after all this, these first batch of artists got released. So thank you, um, you know, for helping get some exposure for us. But for us, we feel it's our responsibility and, and we want to do this to help get artists like in this, in the spotlight, showcase yes. their work, talk about their work, give a little bit of background. I think someone mentioned a comment, you know, the face, the voice behind the artwork. Uh, we're trying to do our best to get it out there to to showcase this talent that we bring onto the platform. So we absolutely want to thank you. Uh, you know, from the bottom of our hearts for taking the time to jump in and, oh, you know, and deal, you deal and, oh, and answer our questions, have a chat with us and, and, and you know, and, and being able to put up with Russ for an hour is just so <laughs> that is oh, That is quite oh, the feat. Oh my God. You guys. <laughs> they actually <laughs> give out badges. Really. <laughs> yeah. I, was, I am really happy to be here. You guys are amazing and you guys don't make me nervous. <laughs> no, no. And Jeff I, and makes I, and me I nervous, really so I don't know you, how you're uh, handling it. I, I sure <laughs> hope we made you feel comfortable. Um, yes, you, you know, Russ, <laughs> Russ and I have been doing this for a while now, and, um, you know, we love having chats with everybody. We love engaging with our community, and it's really awesome to see because, you know, one of the main reasons that I talk about is community at Terra Virtual and building a social environment and being able to connect some users, even though it's Discord um, and over voice, uh, being able to connect our users and even other artists that are on a platform with with future artists yeah. newly listed artists uh, it's really awesome so um you know as we wrap up i i want to say we definitely are looking forward to seeing more pieces coming onto the platform and and of course i wish you the best of luck and i hope when these pieces come to the platform um i hope you at least have an opportunity to tweet about them before they sell <laughs> <laughs> but either yeah. or that, that that's a it's a wonderful thing for you and um you know again i can't say it enough i wish you so much success it's so awesome to oh, see oh thanks i wish yes. you guys the same really much love. thank you thank you we're, i think we're doing the right thing and i think you know bringing the right people in being able to build relationships with the artists you know you and i have chatted over dm a couple of times it, it just yeah. it makes my job the best in the world and i think it really showcases you know what our company stands up for and and being able to put us in a position to help everybody that we can possibly can get some extra exposure to the community and the marketplace um it's awesome yeah. so thanks again for joining and then uh for those that are curious um we are still continuing the artist series next week thanks again guys and we hope regardless of where you are in the world have a wonderful rest of your morning afternoon and evening <laughs>